Hi there, there's a new exciting product by Profoto, a speed light. What's exciting about it is it fits in seamlessly in the whole Profoto ecosystem. So if you've been using Profoto gear, this is great. It works as a transmitter. The air transmitters will fire this, so you've got a nice off-camera speed light with your existing Profoto gear. And you can use this as an on-camera flash, bounce flash, but it also will trigger any Profoto lights. You've got a few channels here and you can control it, manual, TTL. So there's a number of things here which makes it different than other speed lights. The one thing is, similar to the Profoto B1s, for example, something I really enjoy, if you take a test shot in TTL, the exposure looks good, you change it to on the transmitter to manual and that locks the exposure. Brilliant. So if you have a group photograph that you're doing, something like that, and you need a specific exposure, you have lights at a specific distance, you do a test shot, looks good, lock it, boom, you're ready. There's a switch on the side, you go from TTL to manual, you can lock your exposure. Then the other features that are really nice, it works with magnets, or the, uh, any additional attachments clip on with magnets. So you've got a wide angle diffuser, you've got the dome on top, if you want to do an omnidirectional bare bulb look. You've got gels as well. Same thing. They fit in with magnets. Boom. So you can add gels quickly or take them out quickly. And then what I really like, this is now from somebody who, who uh, mostly shoots with on-camera flash with events. They have a white bounce card or, turn around, you've got a black flag. Profero, nice one, black foamy thing. And again, it fits with magnets. One thing I found though with events is it tips off easily, so you've got to be a little careful. It, it pops off easily because of the torque that you have on the black flag, but very nice. And then also you have, if you are in a place where you can't bounce flash, Profoto went all the way and they made a bounce, what do you call it, a soft bounce, a bounce thing, a little soft box. Again, clips on with magnets, yay. So that in short is it. It's a very well thought out speed light. What I also appreciate about this flash is the menu system is really obvious. Without even reading the manual, you can go in and the menu will just be very obvious to you, what everything does. To switch between TTL and manual, you have the slider switch. And the beauty of the way that Profer implements TTL, you can get your basic exposure with a test shot and then lock it in manual. The menu is simplicity itself. You switch it on and you unlock it. Boom, there you go. So we're gonna go to TTL mode. To access the menu, you hit the center button here and then you've got your whole menu on two screens. For example, your modding light, whether you want at minimum, maximum, or in proportion. A red light on or off, you can switch your head on and off. This is very useful when you want to use the Profoto A1 speed light as a transmitter, but you don't want it to fire. So here you can switch the flash head off. It won't fire, but it will trip all your other flashes. That makes it a very versatile. Here you can zoom either manually or auto. And zooming here, it goes from wide to tight. You can also zoom here by rotating this dial. That'll also give you wider and a tighter beam. And then here you can set where your air transmitter is on, which channel you're on, and which group it should fire. Let's go to the next screen. Uh, the backlight here, whether it's bright or not, standby, two minutes or how long, your software version, and your sync, whether it's first curtain, rear curtain, or high speed sync. Uh, with a Nikon, I know that if you just change your shutter speed higher, it will go to high speed sync automatically. So we'll just keep it there. And then whether you have autofocus assist, you can go back or you can exit the screen. Very simple, it's, uh, it's self-explanatory. Now, whether you f fire your other four flashes, you can set your power levels here. Now the battery is a proprietary battery and they have a charger for it. 
clips in. Simple. Oh, it has a very strong modeling light. Well, that's nice. And uh, so we have Anastasia in the studio today, and we're going to play with it as a bounce flash. We're going to check the power and just see how it compares to other speed lights and just see how easy it is to use. So when I work indoors, photographing, wedding receptions, uh, corporate events, pretty much any event indoors, I tend to rely heavily on on-camera bounce flash. It's an easy portable light source. And I mostly shoot in TTL mode because, because I bounce, I don't know the distance anymore. I have to rely on the technology to help me calculate the exposure. Now, in this case, uh, we have Anastasia here. I'm going to bounce a little bit off to the side, get a bit of directional light, but I tend to add a flag so I don't hit people behind me in the face with a very powerful flash. So in this case, I have my settings 400 ISO, not too crazy high. Uh, I've kept keeping it to 200th of a second because I want to kill the fluorescent lighting here, and 3.5. So uh, bounce off to the side. I'm going to keep it to zero compensation, and let's see what it looks like. Perfect. Perfect exposure. I might even pop it down a third of a stop. And let's do another one. Give me that same pose. And that looks great. Catch light in the eye, beautiful open light. I can make the bounce a little more extreme and just hit it off there to the side somewhere. Uh, Anastasia, rotate a little bit with me and turn your head even a little more. If you can, sweep your hair out from over the side and turn your head even more and camera. A beautiful open light bounce flash works. It should work because it's really one of the simplest ways of using flash indoors. On camera bounce flash, the Profit A1 obviously very well suited to that task. But let's play around with the idea of flagging our flash and see where that takes us. So in the previous example, we bounce our flash up over the shoulder into the room, tall ceiling, big white ceiling, white walls. So it's a flood of light that comes back. So it's a beautiful soft light, but it tends to be flat. Even though we bounce to the side, we get a lot of directional light, but it's still very even. Now, when we work with a subject specifically posed and close to a wall, for example, then this black flag comes in really handy because now I can control how the light spreads. So I can now have very controlled bounce, fl bounce flash. So in this case, if I can bounce my flash here, close to the side, it just hits this side of a face and we get short lighting. And because I'm bouncing so close to her, the flash is pointing towards her. And this is why I need a black flag to avoid direct flash on her. So then we get beautiful direction light, very similar to using off-camera lighting where the light just comes from one side. So let's see how that looks. So Anastasia, rotate a little bit and uh, your shoulder a little bit away, yeah, and your face this way, but look at the camera. And I'm gonna hit, try and hit the wall right here so it spills on the side of the face. And camera. Still very even, so I'm going to bounce even closer in. And that's beautiful. Now we get short lighting. More light on the short side of the face. The side of the face turned to the camera has that gradient of light across. So I'm going to do a comparison shot and see what it looks like without the flash. Very little light that spills in. It's a little bit from the window, but most of the light we see on this image is from the bounce flash. A single on-camera bounce flash that looks like studio portrait lighting. Simply because we have a black flag that we control how the light spills from the on-camera flash. Hi, so we're in Hoboken here now, in an alleyway, so you can hear city noise going around. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a 300 millimeter lens. I'm going to be way off, I'm going to shoot and really compress the perspective in the background. But what I really want to show you is the Pro Photo A1 as the trigger. I've disabled the head, so this is not going to flash. It only acts as a transmitter for the B1. And then I'm going to use the usual air transmitter and fire the Pro Photo A1 here. Since we're a uh, 250th f400 ISO, it's not crazy settings, 
we're not fighting really strong sunlight. The Profit A1 is a speed light, we'll be able to handle that. So I'm going to show you the two options, using this as a transmitter and then also using this as an off-camera flash. Okay, so I'm going to be way over there because of a 300 millimeter lens, the working distance has really increased and Anastasia, you're going to be about here, but I'll direct you a little bit, not too far from that light. I want to raise it up a little higher. Okay, that's about good. Okay, so just bring your hands into play. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, hold that, hold that for me. Don't change. Turn your head a fraction to the light and camera. Absolutely stunning. Okay, Anastasia, over there, same place as before. Okay, so we're working close again, so I need your arms close. There we go, that's it. Looks fantastic. Still shooting in TTL mode because I found that the Profoto TTL mode just really nails the exposure so well. Okay, I'm a little further away and it's going to be a half lens, so you can drop your hands if you need or bring it up close. And again, change. Okay, I'm going to move all the way back for full length shots. Anastasia, move a touch over. Perfect, there you go. So using the Profoto A1 as an off-camera flash worked great, as you'd expect. What I really like though is I can use my existing air transmitter, so I don't have to buy into another system. I stay within the Profoto ecosystem. But what is really important to me is before I would use a Nikon Speedlight as a bounce flash indoors, then I would go do family photographs at a wedding and I'd have to take the Speedlight off and then put the transmitter on and rig up the B1. What I can do now is I can use this as my on-camera speed light, when I need to do formals with a Profoto B1, I just use this as my transmitter and fire the B1. And then back again indoors for whatever cocktail hour or reception, whatever it might be, switch the B1 on, or oh, I can trigger in the background, but I use this as my on-camera speed light. So for me, it's a much more fluent transition throughout the day. It doesn't sound like much, but really it saves minutes, it saves the clumsiness of changing stuff. I just seamlessly work with this on my camera, as my on-camera speed light and or the transmitter. That's really beautiful. Okay, to play with a Profoto A1 flash with high-speed sync, I'm gonna shoot with a 51.4 at 1.4 in a backlit scenario in the park that will chase the shutter speed higher and we'll see how it goes. Now, generally working bright sunlight conditions, I wouldn't work with a softbox or an umbrella, but close proximity to our subject and working in a backlit situation and letting things blow out, we might get away with. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna shoot fairly close to you, so bring your hands into play. There we go. And the shoulder a little bit up, just keep that. Beautiful, that looks absolutely sensational. And hold that pose and look away. Hold that pose and look at the camera. So I'm just checking a few photographs here because I am shooting at 1.4 wide open. So I'm just making sure that I nail the focus often enough that I get photographs that are worth keeping. But these look fantastic. The flash at full power just adds enough light. If I couldn't get enough light here, 
with the umbrella because I'm working in fairly close proximity. If I couldn't get enough light from the speed light in the umbrella, I would go bare flash. But I do like a diffused light. Okay, so uh, I like the idea with your shoulder into, into the light. Rotate it and rotate your hips a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Keep that. And camera. I'm gonna come closer, so just keep that pose. Tilt your chin a little bit. Open your shoulder, touch more. And camera. Absolutely looks stunning. I love it. The flash is really impressive. The ease of operation is just phenomenal. The menu system is very easy to understand. If you're used to the pro photo flashes, it'll just make sense to you. If you're not used to pro photo flashes, ah, you've got a surprise waiting for you.